Hey everyone, welcome to podcast number 30. We got some of our favorite comments from last week's podcast. My first favorite one is, why does Drew's legs look feminine? <laughs> I remember that. Y'all are mean. He's the, you guys got this head too. Hey, he wore pants today. <laughs> That's yeah. what we got. Hey. <laughs> nice one. I don't have my phone on me, but I still remember when someone said your hair looks like a helmet. That yeah. one cracked that me up. Yeah, someone told me that my... my beard looks like arts and crafts from a, like a middle that was sh- quick, sh- quick shout out to drew who told us two minutes ago the phone wouldn't leave his pocket <laughs> i gotta see it's going in the boys. zipper yeah <laughs> nice one i think nice shout out one. shout out mushy peas for the arts and crafts comment that was fucking hilarious <laughs> it was pretty funny whoever My- said he, his beard looks like a like on he, someone orange like, sharpie like felt or something. <laughs> that's pretty good the felt one was pretty good <laughs> Poor Drew, man. There's a lot of Drew roasts last time. There, there, yeah. there was this you one that was you good and me for me, I know. which was Christian's hair looks like that one kid's hair in elementary school who would try to show off how fast <laughs> he was, but in reality, he was just a kid with a bad haircut and sketches. sketches. <laughs> or the Rob one yeah. where it was like um, the Internet Explorer thing. One Every, of your friends oh, is yeah. always like Internet Explorer, and that's Rob. Yeah, Rob. Oh, or we named the series mind. to Rob, a case study. Oh, I like that the one where so it's good. like, I didn't realize, I watched a bit of the back, but I do say the whole like, can I say this before I say something? Mm-hmm. But I don't know. <laughs> You do it a lot. All right, Drew, hand over your phone. I was going to... I, I want to jump right into this mini conspiracy theory. Okay, go ahead. Um, so we all know what Wayfair is? Nope. Like the selling company. Or, or it's like they sell furniture. Like Wayfair, you got this one. Yeah, it's I like need, the Amazon blah, blah, blah. of furniture. Yeah. yeah. So the, the conspiracy theory is like there's all these missing children. And like they have the same name as like products from Wayfair. And the thing is like they're selling a pillow for like 15 grand. And the pillow's name is like, I don't know, let's say like some... What's a kid's name? I can't. I'm pulling a blank. Like Bob, Drew, Sarah, or Bob, or something. Myself. Yeah. Um, so it'll be like, this pillow. The pillow will be called like Sarah or something, and it'll be worth like 15k. And then people are make looking for missing persons on the like the database, and it has the exact same name. People were saying they're like shipping children in cabinets and stuff. Yeah. So then the easy way to determine whether this is true or not is just one person has to buy that. Like, clearly, that's you. Yeah. You think well, I could I, afford are you a fifteen thousand dollar? Yeah. Pillow? Order one and see what happens. Gets what? a child. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's another pair of hands to help out around here, right? So True. Like, or you save someone from trafficking. Yeah, you save someone from human oh, trafficking. No, no, or just no. another pair of hands. Right? <laughs> yeah, another <laughs> pair of hands. We really need to mow the lawn. So. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think that's a. Uh, I think it's bullshit, obviously, but I think this is the where could this, be real. the state I we're honestly, at in society. Like, uh, they... As far as conspiracies goes, like you would, you would have an easier time convincing me of that one. I guess so. The like devil's advocate for it is just that very realistically is that website probably uses a supply and demand like algorithm where it'll change the price based on like what is How needed. Many kids they have? <laughs> and it's probably one of those things Howl. where it's like it's yeah. getting to the point where like it's constantly sold out and there's like one left and instead of putting it for cheap, they just list it like they jack it up. They don't check the prices, it's just all automated. I guess the only thing that makes zero sense to me is how they can put like 15k for a pillow and think no one's in a bad But no, eye. they don't know that. Well, it's like if, if it's all machine, then it's I all, guess so. it's all like sellers or like, that too. It's just like a huge online broker. So people are probably just like, here's this pillow for 15 grand. It's just <laughs> like the same thing with Amazon when COVID started and people were selling toilet paper for like 10k. That's so funny. Do you guys remember that 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 phase of the COVID thing where everyone was like toilet paper rampage? I don't know why the toilet paper though. I think it was just a matter of like if you're gonna be stuck without something for a few days, you don't want to be stuck without toilet paper. I think I would start with like food or something. Yeah, I'd start with food, dude. Like like food, food is something like you can just get. But they're like, I'm sure for them, they're like my quality of life. I don't want to walk around with a stinky ass. Well, I'd I'd wipe your hand and then fucking then wash your hands. I've used a sock on a beach before. Honestly, it pr- it's probably better. Most people don't know how to wash their hands anyway. Yeah. What? You never <laughs> sock. If you guys have never wiped your ass on anything other than toilet paper. I've used a sock once at high school. I've used leaves, a sock, like yeah. I have Men, never used anything other than toilet you paper. You sit down, you gotta go bad, you're not paying attention to there's toilet paper. You get to the end and then you're like Exactly No toilet paper. I'm in the middle of high school. I can't go back to the with a like, shitty ass. I, did I got I have a sock. So what do you do with it? Just leave it. You, just, you throw it out. You don't keep it. Oh, okay. I, yeah, this you throw it out. This guy just whoop, stuck to the ceiling. Well, the thing for me was like, just like puts it in his backpack. <laughs> oh, Rob shit sock hangs from the leave, ceiling. Leaves would, it in his lunch bag for his mom. Oh Jeez. fuck that! No, I was at a beach, and I was you know I had a few sips of some beverages that day. You know, wasn't mm-hmm, thinking mm-hmm. straight. I go to the like bathroom stall thing. What beach? Doesn't matter. Does, well, can I, a I, beach. Why does it matter? A beach. It was GB. I'll just give you the yes. uh, okay, yeah. Grand Bend. I expect yeah. that from yeah. Grand Bend. Yeah. That's my 
anyway, continue. so I go there and there's this, I go to take a shit in the stall. It's like <laughs> end of the day. I'm like, fuck, I finished my business. I didn't, I did the classic rookie mistake of I didn't scan the stalls for the toilet paper one. Mm-hmm. So then I finished my shit and I'm like, God damn it, man. Like I, I gotta do something about this. Right. Like I, my first thought was run back into the water and just like hope that like rinses <laughs> off. Oh. But then I was like, that's kind of, that's, that's, it's not a bad idea, but I'm going to like sacrifice my bathing suit for that. True. And then I was like, what do I have? Mark. What do I have on me right now? Like I wet my ass with, I have my shirt, my socks and my hat. You don't it's a no brainer, shirt. right? Or yeah. not my shirt or, or I didn't want to use my shirt. Cause I was like, I need to wear this home type thing. Pull my socks out. And I was just like, Goodbye. I put it like on my hand like a puppet. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. I just I didn't know I did did a couple, you know, oh, did a couple goodness. brush strokes, got in there a couple times. I have never ever never thought done about this? doing that. No. I've never been in that situation. Well, here's but, the thing though, like if you're in that situation, what are you going to do? Like you probably would have done, I was, I was like in a boat. The only thing I've ever done was like there's no toilet paper and I just took the toilet paper roll. I've done that before. Yeah. yeah. And it's weird. You like scrape it off like yeah. a fucking yeah. shovel. Yeah. It's like you're using. It's like you're like taking away caulk, like excess caulking. Yeah. Turn like, into a fucking archaeologist. It's yeah. like well, you pull. You look at the thing, and there's like one little dangly square left. You're like you crumple it up. Like do a little bit of like an edge job with it, <laughs> and then you just pull apart the cardboard and just start. Rob just like, I hope this there. doesn't awaken something in me. <laughs> oh god. Who knows, man? Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I wiped my ass with a sock on a beach before. I can't believe I've never used anything. Hi, my name's Rob, paper. and I've wiped my ass with a sock. <laughs> Leaves is pretty crazy That's too. That's his elevator pitch. <laughs> Leaves are risky. Yeah, because like, we were on a camping trip. Again, no toilet paper, and I actually managed it to eat a huge to be breakfast that a very common that day. theme for Rob's yeah. life. Well, Honestly. like you know, like, you know how I used to eat Mr. Noodles like dry as a kid. Yeah. You like smash those. Always made me shit so bad, man. I don't know what it was. Probably eating dry noodles. <laughs> I guess so. Fair. And then I just smashed them all up, and I just ate like three packs for breakfast one day when we were camping. Huh? Two hours later, I'm just like, gotta go. It's gonna happen. Go take it. I go off the beaten path, take a ship, and then uh, mm-hmm. I didn't. I didn't. Again, I didn't think it, it through. I'm like, what am I gonna wipe my ass with? Didn't think about it. And then I look around. There's like those big giant leaves that are set <laughs> in the bottom of a forest, like the big ones, bro. I was like, oh, it's perfect. It's kind of soft too, you know. And then it's very nice. It's like cashmere <laughs> shit. You know? <laughs> I feel I felt better than some fucking uh, paper you get One from like fly. department stores. Yeah, yeah. Can I get that cashmere itch. Literally. And then um, you know, I just did the did the deed. It was nice. It was a nice wipe. Scary parts when your finger accidentally breaks through the leaves. The scary part. Leaf. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no. um, but then I was just like, uh, "How did we get here from conspiracy?" I don't know to be honest. It spiraled. It just spiraled out of control. But anyway, yeah, on toilet paper. I was worried True. it was going to be uh, like poison ivy or something. I had like a placebo effect that there was like parasites growing on my butt for the rest of that trip. That's but, like, fair. It could happen. Could still be there. It could be. I forgot that the common thing of poison ivy is that it has parasites. <laughs> Dude, you never know, man. Mm-hmm. You do know. What do you mean? You I don't know. You could I'd, definitely I'm pick not up a, a parasite. nature friendly man. I'm not like researching this shit before I go on camping trips. I don't know what you do in your <laughs> spare time. I just get out there and just get after it, man. I'm, yeah, I'm and you guys got lost and broke into a cabin. It wasn't my fault, man. We listen Good to people time. who we shouldn't listen to. This guy's just like wiping his butt with random stuff and eating random mushrooms. <laughs> Camping's <laughs> great. <laughs> Wait, have I, have I told this, the story about being lost? Yeah, yeah I, I think yeah. so. I've told like a story, of the stories like before, a thousand uh, times in my life, anyway. So, mm-hmm. I was on the news. I was on CNN. Yeah, there it is. CNN for one news story. He was the kid that got like air lifted out in that blanket and like he can't move, but he's like trying to wave the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I give him a thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> the classic. And a neck brace. But yeah, good times, man. Camping is uh, kind of sketchy, but it's, you know, it's fun. Have, have you ever been camping before? Mm, That's actually a good question. Not like real, like pitch a tent camping. Pitch a tent. Well, what, a, what? So what, like Elaborate? RVing then? Like, so. Like you built a log cabin when you went camping? Yeah. yeah. Me, and, me and the other. <laughs> me and the lads. Me and the village. The village. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> village. Um, but we went to one camp, which was like, you bring your trailer and you just like park it, but like it's in a forest mm-hmm. and- um, So you went glamping, as they say. No, glamping would be like- in a, and, in a yurt? Yeah, I've also been in a yurt. It was not a nice one, but it was a yurt. Is it, so oh, yurt, so like this pop-up little <laughs> shelter. Like, well, yurt's not nice, just- No, tent. like it just didn't have like air conditioning or heating or anything. It wasn't like the nice, nice ones. It was literally just, <laughs> a cir- it was like a circle wall with a roof and that was it. Was it that where I worked? Oh. Is it Lake Huron? Benjamins. Or Lake Huron? Lake Superior? 
<laughs> Lake Yurt. Lake Yurt. Nah, there's a small disconnect there, but um, I had to build yurts. Anyway, so, and then the other time I went, or in the same session, so we went to that one campsite, and there was just, like, an unbelievable amount of bugs. Like, my sister had 50 mosquito bites on her back in one day. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> what the 50? fuck? 50? She must have some good taste. Just on blood. her back. Yeah. I've seen more, that's and that's messed up. And she's allergic. Oh. So she so, just like she inflated. So after like two days of being there, we were like, "This is awful." So then my parents like just packed us up and we went to another camp in Godrich, I think. Mm-hmm. I think it's called Carson's Camp. We never went back, but it was really <laughs> fucking nice. Like it was like a trailer park mm-hmm. type of thing, but like a nice one. And they had like their own pool. There was no bugs at all, which surprised the hell of me because I was like, "We're in the middle of like, or, like it's." all cleared there but like yeah. right next to it's all forest i'm like how are there no bugs mm-hmm. in all this place but it was beautiful park. you see a uh, rookie there or bubbles <laughs> you want to talk julian to oh trailer park boys <laughs> yeah <laughs> my one buddy and i we got stranded on an island and at the end his back was covered like not a spot on his back didn't have mosquito i have a picture of it yeah. but i'm not allowed to bring up my how, phone. how'd you get stranded there uh we went to go whitewater rafting or not whitewater rafting but like rafting down a like, like think of think of like the grand river but like a bit bigger yeah and um a little wider yeah and so like we get in and it it forks off so we we went this way and then two of my buddies three of whatever got (laughs) stuck going this way but you're supposed to go this way and they got caught under like a tree branch and then like their their raft popped some jason and they had to they had to climb to the um to the island but my one buddy (laughs) Is just bobbing down the river in a life jacket. So we like go off and we don't see them. We grab onto some weeds that are in the middle and we just look back and all of a sudden we just see my buddy bobbing in a life jacket <laughs> down these rapids and we're like, holy shit, like Fuck no one, get over here. Yeah. Do you guys have any experience whitewater rafting? It wasn't whitewater Dude, there's like it's probably like there's like a slight like like decline floating. in water so you're just you're pushing <laughs> no. this way yeah um so we grabbed him thankfully because he can't swim and he was a little chunky at the time too <laughs> but anyway we get him and then we're like, where's everyone else? So we walked across the marsh and tried to meet up with uh, like a dock. And then we just, we finally get, uh, I forget how we got them, but when they got off, they were just sitting on an island, shirtless, with like mosquitoes everywhere. His back was just covered. And he was standing right beside the other guy and his dad's like a pastor and stuff. So you're like saying how (laughs) God protected (laughs) DJ and we just got (laughs) messed up by it. That's amazing. I just want to know is like, why did a group of you guys with one person not knowing how to swim and the rest of you, like, you I'm assuming not having experience doing Man, I that can't type swim. of stuff. You, the problem is you're floating down a river. You know, I can't myself. swim and I do that stuff all the time. But there was like the place where you put in normally was super busy. So we just went up a bit. And then we didn't know that like the fork to the right was whatever. So they're like, oh, this looks fun. And they went down. That doesn't help your up. case of being like, this is where you're supposed to go. So we went further. But like the thing is, it's just a natural river. I mean, like you can put in anywhere you want. It's just where most people put in is that Because spot. it doesn't have mm-hmm. that fork. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> it was my first time doing it. It's in Kelowna. It's not like I frequent the place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You kind of do. That- <laughs> no, I've only been Australia, to Kelowna twice. Kelowna. That's, yeah, I don't even know where much. that is, but that still seems BC, just like... BC, come on, uh, Paul, you should know this. The Kelowna Rockets, man. <laughs> that, yeah. that still seems like something that like you guys just should not be doing Listen, if you I have was no fine. experience. <laughs> we, we, we went with my buddy's mom and grandma, too, who had done it a lot, but they usually put in where you're supposed to. They anyway. never saw the grandma again. <laughs> <laughs> no, she made it. She was with us. <laughs> she, she's a part of the river now. <laughs> she yeah. was helping us save no one as he was just bobbing down. She just lifts him out. <laughs> That's one of my deepest fears, man. Just walk being caught out in water like in the middle of an ocean in like a storm or like being sucked under like a like a river a riptide would be nuts yeah so i would be like you guys remember emperor's new groove kind when of. they're like attached to a log and they're rolling down the river do you barely remember that movie oh, me, and, me and annie just watched it like camp. oh we, we watched it before we moved it was an it's the whitest camp? thing i've ever it's heard thing. yeah <laughs> but um it was just like where they're like about to go over a waterfall and then uh pacha i think is his name is was just like uh-oh and Cruz was like let me guess we're headed for a waterfall he's like yep <laughs> uh pointy yeah. rocks at the bottom yep <laughs> like, all right let's bring it or let's do it <laughs> just Dude, I gotta watch more of some of those old animated movies that are always some on TV. Some of them are so good. I know. Mm-hmm. Dude, Shrek was on TV the other day, and I watched a bit of it. It's and a I was classic. Like, I was like, Dude, this movie's genuinely funny like, today. Yeah, you know there's like mean? six Shreks now, though. The there first is? two or three yeah, are funny. Okay, okay, so I was trying to figure this out with, I think, uh, Priest, where I was like, which 
Shrek had which storyline? Because like I know all four of them, but I don't know which one. I had thought there which. was two Shrek movies. There's four. Shrek the, first the first one. Yeah, the donkey and like Lord Farquaad and the dragon. Yeah. They fight. Yeah. They go to fight the dragon. Okay. And, then, and then the and dragon then, and the donkey end up hooking yeah, up. Yeah, donkey bangs and they got babies. What number two? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think it's at the end of number one they show the babies. Yeah, but then and number two, two the babies are there. What's yeah. the storyline of Shrek two? Yeah, because the whole storyline of one is him getting Fiona. Oh, is Shrek two the one when they uh he turns into a dude right? Like a human. Yeah. I think because yeah. they go to see her parents. Yeah. Okay, so what's number okay. three? Yeah, I never saw the third one. Because number three is where the tr- they have triplets, like ogre triplets. But I don't remember yeah. that story at all. And then number four is where there's, uh, what's his name? Rumpelstiltskin. Mm. Where the, he like accidentally wishes that he never had kids. And then he goes back in time oh, wait. and they recreate it. But I don't know what the fucking number three is. What was I th- honestly don't know if I've seen three and four. Which or unless four either. is three and I don't know what number Which one is. had Puss in Boots? Is that number two? One, two. Or two? one, one, two. No, three. it wasn't in one. Yeah, he was. No, he wasn't. Because remember he like he comes and like tries to kill them and shit, right? And then like they're about to <laughs> I'll look it up. They're, they're about to fight him and then he does the the cat eyes. Like the, mm-hmm. And then they just don't bother fighting him. Are you sure he wasn't in one? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And I feel Antonio, like he's a big selling point. Antonio I feel Banderas. like you're right. definitely find him in one. Come on. I'm gonna, I don't know. I'm five dollar bet. No. Oh, he's got it in his hand. He's got it in his hand. So no, I, all, I, all I saw was just the image, like the front nope. image. No, he, he's no definitely sense. in two. Now that I think of it, because the first one's just Shrek and Donkey together the whole yeah. time. Yeah, and they're just fucking shit up. And then, <laughs> which one donkey, has the f- I've, I've, donkey has so many songs about Shrek and him, just like rolling down the road. Yeah. Rolling down. It's like going anywhere He's not a number one. That'll do, Donkey. Fair. Did you know that there was a Puss in Boots movie? No. I did not know that. I've heard and there was, but like, yeah. There was a sequel where Puss in Boots and the Three Diablos, where he has three kids and they're all Puss in Boots, like miniatures, basically. Really? Jesus. They all have swords? Yeah. That's yeah. fucked. <laughs> yeah, no thanks. Yeah, they, they melt that <laughs> That's franchise. Too much Shrek. Can't really. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I love Shrek, but I ain't trying to watch like, nine total movies. Yeah, I'll stick with the shit. first two. I'm trying to find out what the third one's about. My most distinct memory from Shrek is the scene where he pulls his earwax out of his fucking head and makes a candle with it. Mine? Mine is like oh. the extra scene on one of them, like the lead scene where they're like all doing like a talent show. <laughs> yeah. In the swamp? <laughs> I don't know I where it was. the first one, isn't it? Yeah, there's like a talent show and then everyone comes up and does a song and it's amazing. I just love Donkey being annoying in the carriage. Just like... Oh, it's literally oh, when, his, when, his, when, his, <laughs> when his face pops up between the two of them. Like, <laughs> <laughs> donkey is Drew. Okay, um, Donkey. <laughs> Number three is where Shrek's father-in-law is sick and Shrek is supposed to take over the throne. But he tries to make Artie take. Who's Artie? I don't. Fuck the fuck. Probably from two and a half. Isn't isn't there a Shrek two and a half or like one and a half or something? No, that's Lion King. Mm. Oh, that's one. That's one. All was all about Timon and Pumbaa. Yeah, that was a good movie. I also remember that. Lion King. Dude, man. I'm just thinking of all these like. I gotta watch the remastered one. Yeah, it's good. I saw it in theaters. Well, it's gonna be good. It's the same fucking story, but yeah. (laughs) But like, it's good. CGI is good. Yeah. I just love that they tried to sell it as live action. It's yeah, dude, it's actually. literally <laughs> all CGI. Little, we got lions and live animals <laughs> speaking English. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Rob. It does look very good, though. No, that's exciting. I do want to see it. I heard the Jungle Book was good too. I just never saw it. I, I heard like mixed things. It. I heard people said that, like, from a practical and like CGI standpoint, that it was really cool, but that the actual movie itself was not that good. Mm. See, here's where I circle back to my original argument from like last year about movie reviewers just being full of shit. I was in like the original podcast. Mm, I think so. I just think, like, do you guys read reviews before you watch movies? No, not or, movies, games. I, yeah, sure games for sure. Well, Neither. games I'm gonna buy no matter what, so I just, I just buy it. Hopefully I just have Shane or Christian like, hey, you'd like this. Make yeah, cool. I'll, honestly, between the three of us, <laughs> or even just the group of us, I don't really need the reviews. I kind of find yeah. out what I need. You guys kind of like the games that I'm trying to think of what games you guys have gotten me into. Smite. I, I had a brief stint on Smite, which I enjoyed. I just kind of, I don't know. It wasn't like. Fa- like fast paced enough I guess for me to because I need like that games where it's like I'm respawning doing shit 24 that's why you like Overwatch and COD mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah Overwatch <laughs> I think you got me into Overwatch maybe I'm pretty sure you just or no I think I just started watching that's Seagull and wanted to play mm-hmm. speaking of Overwatch my favorite stream second third favorite streamer <laughs> is back Shatter 2K he actually has like a leaderboard at his desk yeah. <laughs> he's just like oh he moved someone up. comes someone back says like, somebody, someone says somebody doesn't like to race it like nope you are down here now no it's like the wooden slabs like he, he true slides them in. Jeez. i don't even know what he's talking about but yeah um 
He's back. I've been watching a lot more Twitch. I've been spending a lot more time on Twitch recently, actually. I've actually been getting back into YouTube, like actually watching videos. What do you watch? I'm curious. We can watch five I, hours before bed together. I, I <laughs> normally watch like educational content now. So like, like stuff that's just Nile like, Red, check it out. Um, so like one of my favorite YouTubers is Tom Scott and he does like a lot of videos usually on technology or on like stuff that happened in the real world or just random tips. Is it like Linus Tech Tips type shit or no? No, like where he'll be like Remember a while ago there was like a thing where you could send a message to someone with an iPhone and it would like yeah break turn it. off yeah or break at your phone. Mm -hmm. you it, was could. One, it was like mm -hmm. one emoji, like, it was a, just like or it was like an Arabic symbol. There was like another one with yeah. that, and he did like a whole video explaining why that happened. He like oh, explained cool. the process and then other stuff like why people were like afraid of Y two K. He goes to places as well. And he's just like oh like this is a really cool location and here's why. That's pretty interesting. Like there's this one place he went to. I think it was in New Zealand where it's like a private property and they have a gallery there which is like huge uh art pieces and Zealand. one of them is a giant uh like metal statue that looks like a 2d image as, about as when you turn to the side it gets 3d or something i think even when you turn it's still 2d oh what the fuck or something okay. like that i can't remember it was a while ago i watched the video but it does stuff like that he did stuff like why green screens look bad why or how youtube compression works and like does it like showing it live like what the bitrate would look like that's pretty cool. It's just a lot of like. It's interesting. Yeah. My new favorite is just Nile Red, and I guess he has a chemistry degree or something. He's a chemist, and he just does weird stuff with chemistry. Like he turned glass. Uh, apparently, uranium glass used to be a thing, in in I don't know. Uranium like our glass. Parents, when our parents Sounds were kids, grandparents smart. were kids, <laughs> like twenties or something. So he recreated uranium glass and had like one of the uh, whatever they're called that detects for radioactive. Mm -hmm. Like a Doppler, you know, a Doppler, a fucking Geiger counter or whatever. Thank yeah. you. Good job, bro, my man. Mm, and uh, radioactive material. Yeah. It came out of nowhere. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't and know so how the he, fuck he I like know that. takes yeah. the uranium and like puts it over, and he's like, "See, it's like super reactive." But then he like caps it. He's like, "Can't really go through glass." And then he like shows the whole process of putting it in glass and Damn, bunch of stuff. Sick. Or he took he took like the caffeine out of Red Bull or tried to, and just like random chemistry stuff. That's and it's so much. interesting. Man, radioactive glass that definitely like it, gives you a free X-ray while you're checking yourself out. Man, it like <laughs> glows in black lights and stuff. Like just super radioactive. That's like, really it, fucked. It doesn't end up being radioactive, but it looks radioactive. But isn't uranium like incredibly expensive? Yes, probably. So well, wouldn't this glass be like incredibly expensive? Yes. Yeah, but you got that YouTube budget. True. <laughs> the thing I like YouTube, like they do. A, what were we gonna say? You he also no. The most recent one I watched, which was sick, is he carbonated water with diamonds. So like he heated diamonds up really, really hot, and I guess it emits like CO two. And then he captured the CO2. Yeah. Or carbon. He, he captured the CO2 in like a thing and hooked it up to a uh, soda stream and then ended up just like carbonating water with diamonds. That's fucked. Because he Well, did. I know what they nice. say. All diamonds start as coal, right? I think. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> Do they say that? I've never heard anyone and say like that. And like diamonds are literally just carbon. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Drew, no, you're done. I just said, I want to hear. I want to hear. He's the most excited. like hilarious ad for a diamonds the other day was they're just... Oh, you've been spending so much quarantine. If you can, if you can um, make it through each other's cooking in quarantine, you should marry them. Buy our diamonds. Fuck <laughs> that. Like, Jesus. The dumbest shit I've it's ever heard. Shit. Some of the okay. marketing campaigns that I've been seeing for like, quarantine shit, it's like, I'm not buying your shit, dude. Like, they have, chill the fuck out. I don't care yeah. about your shitty marketing campaign. <laughs> on the radio, I know, I know I'm stuck at home. I'm not buying a garbage product. On, on, quarantine, on the radio, I just spent four grand on a diamond. Yeah. Fuck on the it. radio, they have all the ones for the restaurants in the city now. They're yeah. like, we watched you grow up. We were there for your first birthday party. Now we it's need like, you. So like, fuck off. It's like your stupid ass diner. Your food yeah, shit. Yeah. I, I didn't want to so, eat there. Rob, I want to get pizza. Rob has like this aggressive of a I stance want Domino's. on like advertisements. It's annoying, man. But then like for Astros, which are what he wants to buy, and they're just the oh, shittiest God. product ever. He's just like it's called brand loyalty, man. True. <laughs> They're talking about how you they were loyal to you and you're like, fuck you, man. Yeah, it's different. It's just way different when I want to do something. It's just how the world works. That's fair. Yeah. You know what he means? Uh, just how the world works, man. Oh god. Um I forget what I was gonna say now. I was about something about YouTube. Oh, um, yeah, the I'm impressed with the YouTube algorithm because like it always gives me shit I want to watch. Yeah, I've been getting days. bangers as of late. It's like I watched one video on like hmm. I can know it was like a behind the scenes like football like locker room video kind of like hard knocks. You know what that mm -hmm. is, right? Just um, wants to watch a lot of naked guys in the locker room. Can you blame no, I me? What that is. But I don't know. And then literally like right after that, it was like behind. It's like Sidney Crosby behind the scenes at the Olympics, some shit. And there's just like all these videos that I really wanted to watch. 
And I was just like, dude, next thing I know, I'm pulling to Drew. I'm up to like 2.45. I was watching say, random now now yeah, we know yeah, why yeah. Drew watches five hours yeah. of YouTube every night. YouTube is just algorithm. They got it down pat. They, they know what they're doing. Mike well, apparently now it's not they're recommending gonna... my Siege videos anymore. It's recommending my fucking Lego videos. They know what yeah. they're doing. Funny, that are all though. demonetized <laughs> and have yeah, no YouTube's money. YouTube's going to make it big. Yeah. Mark my words. Wait, why is... Uh... Why are your like, Lego videos demonetized? Aren't so they like, very, very PG? I, I use royalty-free music, but then other music companies will take that royalty-free music and put it in their songs and then claim that they own the song and then like demonetize my video and they get the money instead. How, is it, how are they allowed to do that? Because YouTube's system is broken. And then if you dispute it, and then for whatever reason, they're like, no, you're not man, right they'll give like an actual strike to your channel or delete That's your channel. That's so fucked. I don't so it's like, understand how they haven't fixed that. Because like uh, technically, like if they ever have an issue where they're not upholding the copyright and it's actually legal, like YouTube is fucked. They'll but have the, to pay so many legal but fees. But the other way doesn't, you're just, you lose out on your rightful money because well, someone's like, being a scumbag. What are, like, what am I going to do to them? Sue them. Fuck it. But, but I don't you. understand why yeah. they're like, okay, we found that you actually are right. But they get to keep that money. Well, they won't. But like, if they, for whatever reason, decide that the other person's right, even though they're not, I can't fight it. And if they decide that, then I get fucked. Like, my channel just gets deleted. Mm -hmm. And like, you can get argue deleted, saying nerd. it's not fair. It's true. But what the yeah. fuck am I gonna do about it when they have Sony, a multi-billion-dollar company, threatening to knock down their entire company That's if they the don't thing, comply? It makes no sense. Yeah. Welcome to the real world. Capitalism. So dumb. Capitalism. Mm -hmm. Assholes, bro. True's like it's not everything. Sunshine and rainbows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like it's like fighting against the system. It's like some Orwellian shit. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Wait, were we talking about that? I've decided to be smart. I was about to say, Rob's yeah. been like, throwing out some, Rob, some you didn't random need to take words. The comments to heart, man. Jeez. <laughs> I've just been. I've always had Rob this like high like, level knowledge inside me, bro. Rob's just like, can I say this? It's I think I, the political system is corrupt. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, you're okay. always gonna be our Internet Explorer. It's okay. I know, man. But <laughs> even Internet Explorer, you can download some plugins that make it work faster man they just know plugins would make it slower no, they revamped edge you're 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 up hey i'm not like explore i'm edge i spot i'm so excited <laughs> T tonight you're edge tonight i'll be edge rob's very edgy i'm i'm <laughs> i'm making the jump from uh, edge to to firefox hey, you go. oh okay. safari wait you use edge do I, no i use i have to use edge on my work computer and it sucks oh. but new edge is actually decent change my mind I haven't I just I, said it was bad. I don't like it. He might be using old edge. I know, I'm using it's literally Firefox. It's like so the thing is, the my, it's literally Firefox. My beef with edge is like, so let's say like the, the case, okay, so one of the things we sell at work is like a, a software application, right? It's web-based okay. and like I load it in Explorer. <laughs> Mm -hmm. What the fuck are you guys doing? <laughs> One of the things we sell is a software application. Oh, okay. It's like we sell software. <laughs> it's 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 web based, and then so you can you can run it off whichever browser you want. But everything defaults to to Edge, and like ha like half the time, like there's stuff that doesn't load in, like this things don't launch correctly, um, like there's there's the the literal browser says there's like scripts that aren't running or some shit, and you launch it again in Chrome and it works perfectly. And I'm like I'm trying to explain to like. <laughs> I'm like, why do we have to use Edge for everything? Like, just change it. But I, I can't. It's literally like, at, like it's like, like admin block to my computer that like my default you, browser has to be When you right edge. click and say like set to default, like any anything I do that changes like default settings is, is administrative privileges blocked. Oof. It's brutal. Dang. That means that you're just like a user. Yeah, like I'm literally like if you go to like a public library and log into the computer, it would be you and I have the same permissions on my laptop. Well, I've just like downloaded Citrix on my laptop. <laughs> I can't do shit on my work laptop. Like obviously for a good reason, but like it's mm -hmm. it's what? like virtual desktop software. Oh, unless it's Citrix to be wow. honest. Wow, but I, I don't know. Nope, see, oh, it's like shit. you gotta like I'm not gonna fucking download like dark web shit just give me a little bit more freedom do we know that though you could they mr should. mr i want to start off talking about the conspiracy theory and wayfair shit wayfair mm -hmm. wayfair like, gate i can't even go on like fucking actually i'm not gonna talk about this because i don't want to work to here and be like this guy's wasting time you but think true. that we have four we had four thousand people watch the podcast last week you think that of those four thousand someone well, spotify's in there too yeah that's like 500 still four thousand five hundred actually that actually, podcast did yeah. really well for like mm. first time back Oh, I think that's why it did well. Maybe. Still, mm -hmm. it, it didn't really miss a beat on YouTube. That's what I was saying. But I don't know. You never, man. Like if I, if I can take the precaution, I'm going to. You know what I mean? If I can safeguard myself from potentially. You've said so much worse shit. I know, but like <laughs> on the podcast, not sure that's that like derogatory to my job, though. You know what I mean? It's like <laughs> old old jobs, maybe like that mechanic place can fucking burn <laughs> down for all I care. But um, Jesus, not this not this current place. You know. 
It's all nice. Everyone's I'm sure nice. your current boss would feel great knowing that you hate your previous employers. And well, the previous employer was a garage full of people who like wanted to kill me for no reason. So nice. Like, I'm it's almost the mob. like getting hired at a mechanic place with no experience of being a mechanic made them not like you. Yeah, I only took the job because the lady who offered it was pretty cute, and I thought it was going to pay pretty well. The manager. <laughs> yeah, but SR. but um, nice. You know. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to teach myself how to do like random stuff to my car. So like I fixed my windshield wipers the other day. Ooh. And I, I replaced a couple tail lights the uh, like a couple months ago. I'm trying to just get those little things down pat because they cost so much if you take yeah. it somewhere and then you buy a light for like ten bucks, fix it in two. Well, seconds. Like, there is one thing you have to like do though that you haven't done yet, which is clean the fucking garage. <laughs> he just Yo. throws all the trash in there. He's like, I'll clean it up later. <laughs> Five <laughs> days God. later, it's still just sitting there. I, I went to go to Breeze the other day. And it's pouring rain and I get into my car and turn my windshield wipers on and the one on the left or the right, the, the rubber comes off. So it's like flopping back and forth <laughs> in the pouring rain. And I'm just like, Oof. I can't drive in the rain like this. So I just drove to Canadian Tire and got windshield wipers. Well, but. you could. And then he threw the garbage in my <laughs> car. Uh, yeah, I was, I, mean, I, was, I was already late and then I left to go. Yeah, but this is different. It would take 10 <laughs> seconds. This is my it's space. It's also his house. I guess yeah, that's my fair, house. yeah. Um, no, I was already late going and then I had to go to Canadian Tire and I was like, I've never done this before. So I got to figure out how to do it. Yeah, like wait, that's, that's a very good point though. There's literally garbage on every fucking floor <laughs> and not a little bit, a lot of garbage on every floor. Like I was supposed to kill floors see, see over like that area. The middle floor has because one you cardboard literally box. just picked it up and threw it all onto the basement floor. <laughs> True. Like, like if I were to jump down the three flights here, I'd be good. I'm going to land just in land 10 inches of fucking cardboard. <laughs> so I'm good. <laughs> Well, most this is all just fucking mirrors. Yeah, it's yeah. not like garbage. It's just like cardboard boxes and, and shit. And all the boxes over there are full of stuff. I just don't have anywhere to put it. I'm definitely not going to say you're organized. Uh, <laughs> I feel like you're going to get roasted alive for saying you have nowhere to put it. <laughs> well, like I don't have any cabinets. You just put it in the unfinished basement. Yo, We're I work out finish down the there. basement. <laughs> yeah, but not right now. Probably soon. Put it in the room, to the, not the unfinished basement, that other big room. What about that room right there beside your thing? What's in there? Wires and shit? That's the steamer shit. Yeah. Oh, fuck, really? It yeah. was like a little storage closet yeah. or something. It's, it's got like a fucking I mean, weird kind of machine is, in there. Yeah. You know, fuck Although I can't that. speak, my fucking place in, at school was disgusting. Do you guys have like a chair, like the chair in your bedroom where you just toss everything on 24-7? Yeah, yeah, I used to. Or you can use well, the floor. Yeah. I, I did that, and now Amanda beats me if I do that, so I can't. That's fair. Dude, I was like at the point where I would like, I would like be. Your computer room's a little messy though. Yeah, yeah your exactly computer's clean now. Oh, did you clean it? Yeah. Well, we cleaned it, I and know, now I propped it up on day. my desk. No, but also like just the room doesn't have a lot of clutter. Or I think. No, so so my desk now because the computer's on the desk, no clutter because I can't. Uh, I have no space. But that shelf thing, <laughs> like right where you put the mirror, that thing's really messy. Yeah. But that stuff I filled. Usually it. your bed, like I, in my head, like your bed is the messy. The bed in the computer room. That's all Amanda's like clothes. She just yeah. fucking packs it. <laughs> so that's the chair. Yeah. That's the chair yeah. equivalent. But that was like rewashing clean laundry because I would just be too lazy to f take it out and sort it. You know what I mean? In, in the first place I moved to, it was just like I, like I had a whole floor and literally you could walk in the house and like when the sun's setting, it like shine on the hardwood floor and you could see the exact path I took. <laughs> so there's a path, there was a cutoff for the bathroom, a cutoff <laughs> for my bedroom. And then a pass straight to the couch. Like, that's it. There was no nothing else. That's and the then worst. the rest was just dust. It was disgusting. I hate when, like, sun hits my, like, monitors and I see just how gross it yeah. is. Like, all, like, this time of sneeze. Think of that, shit. but, like, everything. Yeah. Oh, God. So, okay, at least our house isn't that bad. I just didn't dust. We no, just need to. God, no. Like, it's just going to take a while, but most of this shit will go. The one thing that's really limiting us is that we only have two bins for recycling, and I don't think we can put out any more. No, you have to do something with all this shit. Like, I don't you know. Just, you just have to take it to the dump. Which we don't have a car for. Well, you use your CRV. Mm -hmm. right, He's mine, me. man. We'll have to break it down, but... Break down. Anyway. But, but like, I've been slowly getting rid of it. Like, I, I got rid of, like, half the cardboard, but then we keep ordering shit. Me and Drew, <laughs> every single fucking day, there's a package here. And then it's it like fills Christmas. up it fills up the entire uh, bin. I'm like, I, I can't get rid of anything new now. Christian That's sent me nice. a text at work the other day. He's like, I'm so mad at you. Uh, you got a package, and I was so excited thinking it was mine. And then I just see, like, Drew on it. <laughs> it like, and then, um, like, 30 minutes later, the doorbell rings again. I'm like... <laughs> That must be my package. I think it was the nano leaves I was waiting for. I go down, I go look at the door. 
It's the same fucking lady <laughs> from the same truck that dropped off the first package. And I look at the package. Drew again. I'm like, why? Same person, same address, and you dropped it off in two separate trips. Like was just it a f- yeah. foam roller. I think one was a foam roller. Oh uh, no, I think it was my computer stuff, my mm. fan cables, mm-hmm. and then something else. Getting Amazon right. packages like the best part of my day these days, though. I can't even get them to my house because I'm too scared. Because I, it would definitely be stolen. That thing's on the porch for 10 minutes, it's gone. I so, so I order them to Amanda's mom's house <laughs> and then pick them up there. Amanda's mom's like, why is there a 55 gallon tub of lube here? <laughs> 55 gallons? What is this um, drum I'm, doing I'm here? baking this weekend. <laughs> Shane goes to pick it up. Why is there only 50 gallons left? Oh, no. Oh. No, I'm making a step and slide this weekend. Monka yeah. Hannah. Why is this everything that's like pomegranates in here? <laughs> should, maybe, maybe not pomegranate. <laughs> pomegranate tastes loose. It's nice. <laughs> Rob's favorite. No, my favorite is when I get supplements in, in my Amazon oh, packages. Just, in your lube? Expect <laughs> it not to lube. go somewhere else. <laughs> Lubes up and it just absorbs into your system. Rob gets pre-workout lube. <laughs> it's, it's fucked. Jeez. Like I'll get something ordered and then I'll like I'll like see it's out there and then I'll just go, okay, I'll grab that in a sec. And then I go, my mom will go out and get it and then I'll pick it up and the package is soggy because there's been so much Lysol wipes and shit on it. I'm like, thanks, mom. I'm like, mom. Hey, man, I'm I'm pulling your mom. I Lysol wipe the crap out of it. I was on the USPS subreddit today Definitely trying to like not. figure out questions about my um, uh, whatever my package that's taking a USPS, year and a half to get here. With the shipping, it's like thing? Canada Post, but US. Oh right, United States Postal UPS. Service. And oh. like so many of the things were like. Hey, like I think I might have COVID. What should I tell my employer? Stuff like that, and I'm just like, fuck. Mm. Nice. That's pretty sketchy. Like from a USPS delivery person. Yeah, it's like them saying like they have a question about work. Like how should Jeez. I bring this up to my supervisor and stuff? And people are like, just like stay home, blah blah. blah. So like, mm. remind me of that. Her, her like her dad's like some type of uh, male person, and she was saying that how <laughs> oh, yeah, hopefully he's a male. Get it? <laughs> and but, um, she was saying that her, her dad was like bragging about not using a mask. Oh, dude, that, that, like, that brings me to oh, my no. next topic I want to talk about. I was at the mall two days ago. Okay. And I was at the, I was like, you're allowed to walk through the aisles of the mall without a mask on. Like, you know, like. The, not anymore. Not anymore, as of, I think, yesterday. This morning. Right? Yeah, yeah, today. Um, and there was some lady being escorted out of a store because um, she's like, I'm not wearing a mask. There's no signage anywhere saying I have to wear one, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I have yeah. asthma. I'm not wearing a mask. Blah, blah. And the security guards are like, lady, like, just like for everyone else's sake, then just get, like, you know what I mean? Just get the fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> Go then, order it in online. My, in my opinion, it's like, if you're going to go to out in public, just wear a mask. It's, it's not it's hard to do. And it's like, who well, now cares? It's, now it's literally the law. Now you're going in a building, It's literally the normal, bro. There's like, people, wear a more lot, people wear wearing masks mask than not wearing masks. It's, it's not mandatory where I work. And thankfully, a majority of our clients were like, even if they don't have a mask, we're like, hey, do you have a mask? They're like, no. And then we give them one. They're like, oh, okay. And they put it on. Yeah. I've had like old ladies come up to me and they're like, Ah, it's so hard to breathe in thing. It's not hard. It's not hard. They're designed <laughs> no. to make you breathe in And the ones them. we give them are the medical disposable masks. Yeah, the mm-hmm. N95s or whatever, right? They have the two N- plastic no. things. No, N95s are the legit. ones that are like sealed With to your mouth filter. and like super tight. Oh, those tight. ones I have. My mom managed to have like five but of them But the, the blue ones still have like some sort of treatment Wait, in them. Uh, like the ones that are like... Yeah, like the legit ones she had. Airtight like, to your mouth? Like it's not... Like it doesn't like suction on, but it has like the two plastic like things where I can breathe out of. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It feels oh. like I could wear it to the gym, no problem. Hmm. I can like whoosh, whoosh, deep breaths and, and it'd be the, fine. The normal ones are just like the disposable oh. surgeon yeah. mask. But still, either which way. was like a tweet I saw where uh, someone tweeted being like, I put on a mask and within seconds, like I was having difficulty it's breathing. So I wear and it I thought day. I was going to die. It's, it's so okay. here's the and thing. Then they're like, well, stay home then, person. Well, and then they're like, oh, I'm sure that surgeon who performs surgery on you must yeah. be feeling the same yeah. way. But here's the thing. Like if you've never worn a mask ever, You've never had any sort of face covering and you put a mask on for the first time. It's like a mental thing. It mm-hmm. feels restrictive. It does. Yeah, it's like a placebo. The thing is, is you, you just have to get used to it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's those people who are like, wear it for a second. I can't do this. Give up. Like yeah. it's, you, it's a mental thing. The ones thing. that bother me is people who are just like, I don't want to wear it because of how it looks or blah, blah, blah. I'm yeah, like, dude, off. who gives a fuck, bro? You're not hot or good looking anyways, most likely. <laughs> Damn. That's, they Not should get Rob head. to go yeah. in <laughs> to tell people. Man, if in seconds of wearing that you're like you can't breathe to me, you're having a panic attack. Yeah. Correct. It's a I wear thing. I wear mine all day, every day. I'm fine. Mm-hmm. There was a study. I don't know. I can't remember if it was the US, UK, or somewhere else, but they did a study in that majority of the people who like are susceptible to COVID are the people who don't care 
about wearing masks or like don't want to wear masks. It's like the people who are most at risk so are more likely to break it and then die. So Americans. <laughs> whereas, so if you live in Arizona, right? yeah, yeah. whereas basically everyone who is not at risk is like very pro wearing it and being safe. So mm -hmm. it's just like, we're doing it all for the people who do not give a shit. It's exactly. Like, Man, uh, yeah. I see some pretty sketchy stuff. People will just like, not give a fuck. It's not that they don't give a fuck. And I, They'll come in dirty, which is fine. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not gonna judge you for being dirty, but like. But they're dirty, like, like, like. No, like they clearly dirty? have some sort of manual labor job. Oh, okay, and, yeah. But like they'll come in and they won't wash their hands. They'll just like touch that, touch the touch screen, like wipe their face and stuff. And I'm just like, I understand that like it's hard for people. To, like when I when I did um, landscaping, yeah. There's just so much dirt on you. There's no point in trying, but at the times like, you have to try and wash your hands and stuff so that's the big issue is even at work like mandatory mass so you got i'm working with like 15 20 people with masks okay mm. so then we didn't teach them how to use masks so there's like that you one really have to be taught. But, <laughs> but like we're we keep in mind like people are just dumb yeah like, so Most there's like this one idiots. idiot i'm walking up to go i'm going upstairs to do my paperwork for the evening or the afternoon and i look over and like the one really really dumb cashier she like <laughs> you know who you are okay. she like pulls her mask down <laughs> sneezes puts the mask back on and she's on till and then goes through the order i'm like are you dumb or are you stupid lady i've seen her do it like four times that's the worst part what happened to the guy in your department who said I'll, i'd rather die before i wear a mask <laughs> he wore a mask I he, he's a fucking <laughs> did idiot. you call him out on oh that? i tripped him for the whole week and it's funny because he wore the mask completely wrong it's like tucked under his lip and he, <laughs> he looked like an idiot it kept like folding in on him <laughs> and he didn't say anything no i love look like an idiot <laughs> no but like no. when you were like calling him out for no he the... just accepted it he knew oh. he just took it like a man he knew he was fair, an idiot fair. and he, he just took the beating the best thing is someone put put a burp uh burp breakdown on twitter of two people tweeting that you know they're never gonna wake a mask doesn't matter what dt says they're mm -hmm. not wearing it and then he was pictured going through the hospital with a mask and the one guy replies like that mask is so cool what do i get one <laughs> <laughs> yeah but did you see the one where it was like it was like same concept like a guy from down south like never gonna wear a mask like i'm not doing this blah 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 and then he's like, man, I got this COVID thing. This is, this is a lot harder than I thought it was. And then like two days, two days later, dead. And I'm like, Fucking hell. Uh, like, and now yeah. that, now that Twitter and now you can see the internet like that, geez, those Honestly, statements didn't age well, is, man. It's just natural selection natural at selection. that point. I it's kind Darwinism. Of yeah. The problem is you still like someone's like, you still feel bad, but it's like, well, he died. Well, it's just human nature yeah. to feel bad. Yeah. Someone dead. But but it's died, like, but I like, just think he's an idiot. Maybe but I'm a sociopath, but I don't feel bad about that. <laughs> Yeah, not one bit. But it's that same that same thing where it's like I'm never gonna wear a mask. There's no need. Blah blah blah. And then like like a week later, it's like, hmm, feeling a little under the weather. I think I'm gonna go get tested. Two days later, well, I got it. I'm positive. Two days later, this thing's kicking my ass. Dead. Three days later, man, heaven has free Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> the the way I see it is man, like they make me wear a mask up here too. <laughs> mask in heaven, bro. The, the way I see it is like if you do something like that, like that chain of events. Yeah and die like i don't feel bad it'd be the same thing as like if you went on my roof and said i bet i can stick this landing and like jumping off into the driveway and you die from that i'm like that's your own fault i You're feel bad for the idiot. family correct yeah that's, that's it i, I feel bad yeah, for anyone who's affected by it yeah mm -hmm. but like if you're an idiot and they just go around thinking you're made of fucking There's, steel then yeah you're gonna die so disneyland world which world yeah. open. disney world's open open up and there's one lady who i guess before all this happened her channel She's got like 7k subs Was walking around Disney Like she was live stream it Whatever 7,000 mm. Twitch subs? No, no, no Followers? YouTube subs Oh, okay nice. um, Big and, time Small fry <laughs> And so she was <laughs> Live streaming the other day When it was open She was walking around She had a mask on Which is All the power to her Good mm -hmm. But then They like cut stream for a bit And she said the reason Was because her friend Was violently ill Like headaches Throwing up Everything They took her to the medical scent and the person's like, like, you need to go to the hospital. Like, you probably have COVID. And everyone in chat's like, your friend has COVID. Why are you out in public? And she's saying how violently ill her friend is. People are walking by, like, hearing that. Like, what? <laughs> and, and then she's just like, the next person to say that it's COVID is getting banned. Like, she doesn't have COVID and it's an allergic reaction. You need to chill. And we're just like. Well, fair. Like, it could be. Well, still, either way. If you like, just, turn your if you're off, fine lady. and then you just become violently ill. But this this whole thing metastasizes in like hours. Like people have said, I woke up feeling fine. Five mm. hours later, I was throwing up. Yeah. Fair. Okay. Yeah. 
Because it's it's completely random. Like it could be anywhere between five hours to two weeks before yeah. you feel symptoms. And if you're having that violent of an allergic reaction in a pandemic, should you be going out anyway? What's Probably the not. worst case that you have it? That you're like, also, what you mean? she should have just literally went home instead yeah. of continued the walk. That is yeah, also yeah. like not at all a normal allergic reaction. That is something that should be hospitalized if you're being yeah, allergic you're to dying. anything. Yeah, yeah you, you need you to go to the hospital. You should be on meds if you're... All, all right. And you, she didn't use an EpiPen or anything at the same time. Yeah, mm-hmm. You don't go... Like, I don't go to where, like, cats and dogs are, start throwing up and being like, <laughs> I'm fine. Like, there's yeah. clearly something she's wrong. She's yakking at everyone's dog to the dog park. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, should go to the hospital. No, bro, fuck off. I'm fine. <laughs> Yeah, this is natural. Two days later, yeah. Heaven's got free Wi-Fi. Heaven's got free Wi-Fi. Dude, all I can think of now is just like someone dying like that and being like, gets to heaven, and, and it's just God standing like, didn't bring a mask. <laughs> yeah. See, see oh, it's, a, it's in my car. Uh, <laughs> just see pulls the lever. <laughs> yeah. That's one that I got. Like, oh, do you have a mask today? And they're like, oh, it's in my it's, car. I'm like, why aren't you fucking wearing it, can man? You go, can you go get it? Yeah. And they just kind of stand there, and I'm in my head, I'm like, you don't have a mask, like here, take one. Yeah. I, I've definitely done that by accident, but like I'll usually remember before I actually go in, yeah. like fuck my mask, I have to go grab it. You from see the car. people come to the door, see everyone in the store have a mask, and then they do, they just like turn around and go get it. I've done that a few times. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I well, at the beginning because there was like 50-50. Some places were okay with it, some weren't. So you're like, uh, you kind of feel it out. Mm-hmm. Whereas yeah. now it's like, no, 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 mask mandatory as of today. I'm I'm kind of pumped for it though, honestly. Yeah, hundred percent. Also, I, I really want to hear next week if you have any stories of like customers oh, rolling oh, it oh, out. Oh, for sure, for sure. There's gonna be some. Like, I feel better masks. being dude. At work someone torched. Uh, I opened the doors this morning and someone torched like this little old lady. And I felt so bad, but like actually did it kind of nice. Like, hey, by the way, <laughs> hey you fucking bitch. Hey, by the way, <laughs> hey you old hag. Like I'm just torched the door, her, but like poured water on her. There's like <laughs> three people and they're both like talking to this lady and I caught the end of it. And they're like, yeah, by the way, you can't go in the building. And she's like, I'm just getting my newspaper. <laughs> like, just let this lady in. I don't care. But yeah, yeah. She. But you can't. She came in and got her newspaper. Without a mask. What, yeah, guys, we've talked about this. We. I can't enforce anything. It's 100% yeah, but, just like the company policy of just trying to make money. No, no, no. The company policy is straight up. Did you not see what happened with um like TNT and stuff? No. Like people just like coming in and just losing it on managers. Uh, um, and then racist rants. So like the, the whole company is like, Hmm, let's not have that ever happen again. If they want to not wear a mask on our store, they can do it. Who cares? But doesn't that's that fucked. open you guys up to fines and stuff? No, it opens. So if someone were to come in, we have to have a list of the people who for health reasons can't wear masks. But if someone were to come in and catch a customer without the mask on, that person gets fined, not us. Hmm. That's not bad. So you see, their uh, phase three is starting this Friday. So pumped! So, are you, how long till you go back to the gym? The gym is open on Friday, but I'm not going to go for about a month at least. I don't think. What's going to change in a month? Hopefully, our case numbers and everything, and my mom's outlook on everything. <laughs> I guess I mean, actually that's <laughs> the fair part. Yeah. Like I'm per- like personally, I wouldn't even feel comfortable going back yet. To be honest, just me personally, I I'd just, probably wait like a week or two before I go back to well, climbing. And the thing is. The way they're laying it out no is... No way, man. You have to... Well, like, I don't think a climb is going to open for like another month or two. It well, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah. I just think... Well, you have to schedule your... An hour time slot now. Which is awesome. But like, the thing is though, they have to... So, you like, they do like one group of 30 for an hour then, there's a, then they close for a half hour to clean wipe everything down mm-hmm. and then open up and I'm thinking to myself Jeez, like that's a process but, no, but like that's, that's good that's great that's good that's great, I, I just, but like, that people, sucks for them trying to yeah, yeah. people who work there it's probably gonna suck and like I, don't, I, I, I go, I'm at the gym for like two and a half hours sometimes Correct. not working out the whole time but like socializing this and that but you're still gonna share so many ways that's my thing people. I'm like okay, well you shouldn't well, be they socializing clean things. Like, well, they're I gonna just, clean things after every use but they won't like they, the, they're gonna have a time slot where you use the gym normally and then the people are going to be switching. And then they clean like, up. Like, mm-hmm. like within that hour, there's going to be people like you like social distance. So here's stuff, the thing, but. like because it's time slotted now. If someone were to come in and get sick, you can now inform everybody in that time slot, and you're good. Like that's that's the perfect scenario. Yeah, that yeah. is literally the perfect. Scenario. I just, like, I just like, the the thing is like, it's just the there's just so many yeah lots of it's stuffs getting good. lots of germs getting passed around no matter mm-hmm. how hard you try. There's like mm. sweat. It's the people are gonna be. Like, I know. Like exa- exhausted, breathing out all their germs. Again, I shit. look at it like I feel like a gym is safer than a grocery store. Mm. I'd say. Man, no. people touch so much. They touch everything. Yeah. Literally, and if you really but think you're sweating at a gym, you're half the people that shop here <laughs> sweat <laughs> water. I, I, I sweat when I shop. But this guy sweats. You just sweat all the time. I sweat when I wake just, up. Just thinking about the price. 
but regardless, like, I don't know if I can buy this fifty dollar wave protein powder. But lots of people are Bananas. touching lots of things. If you really think like they're just taking like a general cleaner and wiping the carts down, like it's nothing. It's not gonna yeah. kill it. The only place have you seen Costco? They got like the fucking backpack and a full spray, yeah, and they really? coat the carts. You guys like hazmat suits and shit. Up My there. mom wipes <laughs> down all the groceries when she gets home. Correct. You you should. And we yeah. and we we did the bags outside that. too. Yeah. Like we just we empty all of our shit out, wipe it, and then leave the plastic bags outside for a few. Again, hours. chances are still so slim. But Definitely, I still, I've never I feel, done that. I would feel no, it's, safer it's at the anal, actually, but I listen to a podcast on that. But I would feel safer at the gym than at the grocery store. I'm just Honestly. like I just get really freaked out with that kind of shit. So See, I'm just I just don't wait. feel safe at either. I feel, that's fair. I feel yeah, that's completely fair. The fuck out yeah. Yeah. The, the, I think store. the bigger concern with the gym is that, f- like, from obviously every, all these reports are coming out, but no one knows like if it's 100 percent or not. Is that like apparently if you're healthy, you're more likely to be asymp- asymptomatic. Mm-hmm. So like, there's a higher chance of someone being at the gym and with like, COVID yeah. and not knowing it than someone at the grocery store, mm-hmm. for example, because like. Chances are, yeah, the general only, population only unhealthy people shot. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. The like the chances are most people who go there go to the grocery store will yeah. show symptoms. Whereas, like, if you're if it's true or if you're healthy and you don't show symptoms, like, no one's really going to show I'll symptoms just, at a I'll gym. I'll book the gym time slot with my fellow unhealthy people, <laughs> and then if someone's just sick, I'll be like, okay, they got yeah. COVID. I'm leaving. The, the key would be to just always book first slot of the day. Yeah, honestly, I think I looked at it and the times are weird though. It's like. 12 30 2 30 and then it's like a huge gap till like 5 30 so it's like personally my schedule would be kind of fucked because of everything i have to do so, with work and afterwards so they but. paused like your membership right yeah i'm so, not so, i don't pay till next week so everybody has to pay now even though it's all like yeah. timed out so i'm okay, you but just you, your membership for now? well i'm on a really i'm on our old zares one so i'm just gonna pause it oh it's nuts because yeah, yeah, i yeah. pay like pennies compared to what it is now you're still on that. i don't know well, as long as you don't leave it they <laughs> yeah. just keep i've had the it. same membership since 2000 whenever. Yeah, as long as you don't bring it up no it's it's so good yeah it's one of those things where it's like that's the same thing with phone companies yeah. where like they won't lower yeah. your plan until you complain about mm-hmm. it yeah, yeah it's like i might if i'd make any changes to my rogers account i have to re like go yeah. through the employee verification that's why niall discount. that's why niall blessed me with that job because i have like a fucking cheap ass phone plan until like 2022 what's mm-hmm. your phone plan I pay f- like 48 a month with tax for unlimited everything. Data as well? Data. Well, data, you get 10 gigs and then it, it drops the unlimited shit. That's oh. still insane. But still, 48 so bucks. I pay 90. I can text, I I can text and unlimited. call anywhere in Canada. <sighs> 10 gigs of data. Right. It's fucked. Man, so and that, that's like a good plan. What I, was, what I was doing before this was trying to get that plan. So I got a flyer for context. You're just going to fucking lose it. I'm going to get got, triggered. I got a flyer last week that said you are entitled to 20 gigs of data on your a cell phone plan for sixty five dollars. Oh, the thing you had downstairs. Yeah. So I called or I went on like the live chat, messaged the guy, and he's just like, "Okay, let me check." He's like, "Okay, uh, everything looks good." Like he asked for all my details. He's like, "I'm going to activate the ten gigs for sixty five dollars." I'm like, "No, it's twenty. 20 he's like, "Oh, sorry, that was a typo." And he goes, and he's like, "Oh, actually, no, it's not available anymore." <laughs> Psych. And he's just like, "If you want twenty gigs, it's seventy-five, which is still a good price." But I'm like, "The flyer says sixty-five, yeah. and it says that it's valid until September 3rd. So then I'm like, "It's still valid. Can like, why can't I do it?" Something? Can you do that? And he's just like, "Oh, it's just not available on this account." I was like, "Okay, can I talk to a manager then?" And he's like, "Um, sure." He's like, "I went to go talk to my manager for you, and he said the it's not available. Like, he it's probably ex- went for a piss." Yeah. <laughs> he's like, "It expired," and I'm like it says it expires September 3rd. It's not expired. And then he eventually transfers me to the manager and manager's just like, no, it's expired. There's nothing we can do. So, and then I was like, what do you mean there's nothing you can do? Like, Idiots, it's man. available. Again, we were talking outside. You should have just been like, do you realize how much I'm about to drop on your company? Well, that he, he, <laughs> no, he, Drew was yeah. telling me that I should threaten to leave and not pay Bell for the fiber internet. Yeah. I was like, no. No, that's, that's not, not worth it. Because if they were like, okay, see ya. But they're not going to. And also, the problem is, but see, those two people, they don't give a shit about that. That's a whole. And also, they, they're, they're they don't know though. each other. They, as far yeah. as they know, I'm just shitballing. Man, with how homogenous that whole industry is, you don't lose a customer over ten bucks. Mm-hmm. I know, like you just thing. say, you say, oh, we'll honor the flyer that we fucking sent you. Well, so that's you, where see, I, kept trying, to, plan. I kept yeah. trying to get them with that. I was like, so does Bell not honor their flyers then? Because he was the manager, <laughs> just and then he's just like. Be. It's just not available anywhere. So I'm like, so what you're saying is you do not honor your flyers. He's like, it's yes. like it's not available. It expired last week. I'm like, in other words, you don't honor your flyers. Yeah. You're just saying it. Give me my if you took that into a store, 
I feel like they just give it to you just I to get you so. out I, of the store. I think store. I should just go to the store. 110 yeah, percent, they can do it for you. Yeah. Yeah. There's no reason they. The can't. issues I just have to go to the mall. <laughs> they they just they probably get docked on their STI or their variable pay just, if they give you that deal. I don't know if I want to go to the mall. Yeah. Well, th- the dude, fine. You in and out. Everyone's got masks. There's I old ladies getting escorted out by security. <laughs> People she was old. She was like 40. Yeah. Still at old ladies. That's the worst age. Try calling or just give my dad the phone number. He gets the best cell phone deal somehow. He's probably probably yelling at them. them. Yeah. He probably because he just spends like a whole Saturday getting it. Annie came like, up and then she's just like, I can't believe like you would actually like do all this because I was showing her the chat logs and just me trying to be very firm. She was like, if this was me, I'd be like, okay, I'll take one gig for $90 a month. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say is I, best. I, I oh, it's 200 now. Okay. <laughs> just fucking online service for like telecom is bullshit dude that remember? robs me such the wrong way dude do you guys remember uh my, robs me too when my wi-fi shut out like a month ago that one morning and yeah. i was tripping dude i call rogers oh, yeah. my service to like get my shit fixed i'm like dude like my shit's not working blah, blah. the guy's running me through like the <laughs> say, oh blah blah, blah. Did you plug it in and the- yeah literally he's like did you do this 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 and i'm like yes dude i'm not a fucking idiot and that's the very dude so like and you can't skip that because one time when i called in i was like just so you know i did everything that you normally do like i unplugged i did this like, yeah. can you unplug it again so, dude you're an idiot Fucking anyways mm-hmm. and then so it's like midway through this he's like oh by the way you have, you're on like a really old internet plan like have you ever thought about upgrading dude i'm like get my current internet working <laughs> before you fucking try to sell me shit, you dumb motherfucker <laughs> that's that took, great like, two hours on the phone with this idiot couldn't even tell <laughs> left from right apparently Dude, when uh, damn, we were getting our internet set up here, the guy just like, you guys saw him, right? Like he mm-hmm. he loved the place he and was, he he was geeking out when you yeah, because he loved like all the internet ports and stuff. And then when I was telling him like I want to get fiber installed, he's just like, don't call the place. Like he's like that place is full of fucking idiots. They don't know like, left toe from right toe or whatever. I was like, <laughs> that's okay. amazing. Like literally just what Sounds Rob said. Right, man. But that's like, smart. Like he actually kind of like, hey, these are the people you need to. I don't know how to find them, but you need he to set find me up. them. He's just like you need to find the engineering team. Yeah. It took me so fucking long. It took me like six different calls and probably three hours cumulative, but I finally yeah. found them. Well, eventually, and we'll they have hooked fiber. you up soon. Mm-hmm. Although, what's the, the, ETA the one on guy it? like two months or so? Oh. The one guy hooked me up. So basically, originally they said it was gonna be sixty thousand dollars to install mm-hmm. the wire, Holy and then fuck. Um, the other option was twelve thousand up front, and then like. 1200 a month for five years that's like a math problem which would <laughs> yeah. which like equated to like 100k yeah so, so I was yeah, like what the fuck no like i'm not paying 40k extra so then so it's gonna be 60k and then he talked to bell and they're like yeah we'll pay 20k of it oh that's not bad so like kind so of like now it's like down absorb, to 40k absorb some of it i guess mm-hmm. it's still expensive but like like well how, well how much of a difference will it make what's your current 100 and, times the speed so like what do you what's your ping now and shit just for out of curiosity ping won't change that much it's more like just, what's your download then right now 100 it'll be a thousand and then uploads 10 and it'll be a thousand your upload that's will be a thousand fuck. that's a no, hundred so my upload's like 46 <laughs> so that's why like <laughs> that's why like uh it's so shitty now because one time in the middle of stream uh like someone needed a photo so i was like trying to send it to them just uploading a photo to discord crashed my stream because <laughs> they couldn't <laughs> handle uploading uh, like, like a five megabit that's like file. Old, I was gonna say that's some Rob old PC shit. I couldn't like, even I use looked, Discord when I was yeah. streaming. Dude. I was just like, oh, chat one second. Like I just gotta upload a photo, and I look over, and it's just zero connection, and like <laughs> crashing stream. Like oh, Rob turning Discord on would crash his stream. I'd be streaming like Smite, a game that came out in twenty whenever. Yeah, and like as soon as I open Discord and hop in, everything just freezes. My CPU jumps <laughs> to like a hundred and fifty percent usage. <laughs> To, to be fair, I'm Smite like, and Discord hate like they hate yeah. each other for me too. Like they really? fucking they like Shane's Smite crashes all the time. My Smite will crash because of Discord or like all this. I'll load into Discord and I can hear in Discord and it just cuts my whole Smite volume. Or you hear like a little crackle. Oh, that's fine. And then it just cuts all the volume. Like it's fine. I have that shit. issue with Siege mm-hmm. Discord. Like sometimes we'll be in the middle of a match and then I'll like hear the game audio like kind of go down and then and then all of a sudden the voice comms cut out and I have to tab out and set like my headset and microphone to default and then back and then it comes back on. Mm-hmm. Man, the gigabit connection so nice though. I've never even I've never <laughs> I'm even bringing even my seen PC that. back here when you get it. I was gonna say when I'm... I got it the, for the first time, I just downloaded everything. I took my PC to his house. Well, still after, so fucking after hilarious. After we plugged in my fan, but it, like his, I was <laughs> you like, can't even say anything you did it for two years yeah but mine still worked fine because it's not the radiator well, so yeah, all the heat mine, goes to the radiator i just like, didn't have a fan to output it was like three thousand dollars <laughs> eh. 
Anyway. I still remember when I tripped out <laughs> so hard with my tone. Um, but it was hilarious because like he comes over, he plugs it in, and he's downloading. And it starts off like really strong, and it was like slowing down a lot. And I was like, this and is I weird. Like, just why is bought it... this from my friend. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was like, why is it only downloading at like 10 megabytes per second? It should be like 100. I was like, oh, maybe Steam's just throttling it. And then his computer just turns off. And every time he kept turning it on, and it would do the exact same thing. Like, go through the same process, and then we looked, and just the fan wasn't plugged. The CPU fan was and so, just like, it was limiting, so it was, like, overheating? Well, it was limiting, like, his internet connection, trying to do whatever it could to just stop the computer from overheating until it just crapped out. And then when it got to the threshold, it would just shut off to save it. Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck. That's awesome. And so, I, I, like, I looked, and or he opened, he's like, there has to be something. I just look and say, I'm like... Why is there like a cable just, just <laughs> floating dangling around? But it was because nice. I, I brought my RAM to put into my buddy's old PC. And then I guess to get more room when he was plugging in my RAM, he unplugged the CPU fan and Which just forgot to plug it back the in. The cable's not even in the way. <laughs> it's like on the other side. I was like, he's just trolling. He's just Devin. <laughs> just download my RAM, man. <laughs> yeah. But no, now she's a beaut. She works fine. Nice. Yeah. I remember the first day I took my PC home, like the new one after we built it, it was getting so fucking hot. <laughs> like the panel was like you cook an egg on that shit and then I ripped the well ripped he's like rip. running war zone well I was like running mm-hmm. war zone and for then I was five like, hours literally but then like I took the the front panel off because that's an option and now it like it's like nice man it's yeah, insane it's nice and crisp more airflow yeah like, but you're also gonna get like a shit ton of dust in well, there I don't, I don't, I you're just, gonna have to air it I'd out I'd rather just blow it every month or so but like mm-hmm. my CPU doesn't go above like 50 every two years yeah, Shane's Mr. It. Noblo did we show you the photos of Shane's PC? I was here when yeah, you he were here. Did I show the picture of my PC? You showed me the photos. Did, because remember we were like, oh, mine's so clean. What the hell <laughs> happened? All the yeah. time. And then there's the front panel. It's the exact same case as that. <laughs> I cracked the front off and there's like pro- <laughs> protruding dust, like oh. cones coming out of it. That was man. my whole PC. Though. He Ugh. sends us a random picture. I found the dust and it's just... <laughs> Hey, it was like on. an inch. Well, yeah, because I saw his and I was like, "This is very clean. Like, how is we nothing happened?" And my excuse was, "Yeah, his PC's white. Mine's black. That's why." <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's Mine why. was just like, "Oh, his is on the desk, so like, there's less <laughs> dust, which is normal. Like, you're supposed to put and your PC on the desk so it doesn't get and dusty." The thing is, mine yeah, wasn't yeah. even on my <laughs> it desk. Just wasn't. When I was at school, it was on the floor for the entire time. I didn't yeah. even remember that. Good old and, floor and that's PCAs. when I lived with a lived with a dog and like a bunch of gross ass roommates. Shane's like PC the oh, first time was disgusting. I've seen forever, bro. Because of the cat story. Yeah, yeah, so long story. The first time that Shane brought his PC over for me to clean, mm-hmm. it was just like hairballs. Really? It's like, it was just, all just cat like, hair. I had a cat that like just literally lived with me, and it was like long hair cat. So like, it, and it shed all the time. So that stuff was just going in the air and just sucking into the PC and <laughs> sitting there. Wait, so theoretically, yeah. if you had a pet, would you let it up here or no? Probably not. I don't think we're actually going to end up getting one. I don't think we'd be able to climb up here. I don't That's think true. we're going to end up getting one because I told Annie as I said because we were looking to maybe get a cat for her and my sister brought up the point because her cat jumped off the second floor onto the first floor and killed itself natural selection no. oh. just from the staircase like it was just sitting there and my sister freaked out and then it got scared so it just jumped Man. and landed on tile and then she was afraid that the cat was going to die but it's fine cats can and do then, those things no though. but it then has nine lives and then we realized here <laughs> that respond. if the cat jumps off it's gonna go down four floors cats don't just jump four floors though they're not unless, but like if it's uh, let's let's cat a, master he no, knows. but like so unless you treat it poorly you, you, even shane you have to admit you know that cats like to go on the side like between the railing they just like to do that this is one of the stupidest yes but if, Wait, if it slips it falls cats fucking do that my sister's cat fucking tried to kamikaze are, off cats are also scared of heights they're not gonna just fucking sit over here like, oh no, Wait, like. So what, the rationale for not getting a cat is you're just gonna kill itself by jumping. He's up worried a ledge, he's gonna basically. it's gonna fall down that spot right there. That little like nook. I guess yeah. that's like a somewhat uh, fair concern. Just they bad. they love to go on that side, and that is slippery. Like the the wood that where the carpet isn't is slippery. If the cat falls and dies. I don't want to be a part of that. <laughs> just imagine. I'll the, fucking remove it from your pool you filter. Got, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one way to find and, out. You have to. <laughs> the reason that's so funny is Mike, when he was a pool boy, like they had a point system for what they find in the pool filter, and they'd find like cats kittens. and shit. Kittens, yeah. yeah. That's grizzly. So that's the other thing is that Shane, way. like we'd be getting a tiny kitten, a hottie, again, that wouldn't know any better. Again, you're 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 not giving cats credit. Like they they would not do that. They just but wouldn't. they did. They literally did it at my sister's. Your my sister, you literally said you, <laughs> your sister scared the cat. But he likes to just sit there and like lean over the edge. Yeah, they'll lean over the edge and sit and look. 
Your sister scared the cat, so it fucking okay. just like, oh shit, jumped so down what if, two what flights. So what if I scare the cat, and it just you can't fucking scare jumps. Any, look at this, you can't scare anyone. And it just jumps down four flights of stairs. <laughs> He's not going to. I think He's the cat whisperer. He has it's not going to happen. Just adopt like a super old cat, and that way worse comes to it's worst. It's really funny, because I remember like free fall, like, like free fall, the white cat, his name was free fall because he used to just like <laughs> climb up a barn and then jump like the story and a half into hay <laughs> and then run back up to the top of the <laughs> barn and jump off. So like he used to do the thing that you're but worried Shane about. Shane says that he's like the cats are yeah, just but fine. But you met that cat and there was, he had some. No, and what if my cat's like that? You could, you could cap. He was you fine. Play- free fall was fine. He lived to like 15. That cat was no just issues. playing Assassin's Creed in his head. <laughs> he was. Yeah. Just put, say, put, just, like he was trying to, was trying to discover location. Could you imagine? It's like on roller coasters just to catch your keys. <laughs> it just wouldn't happen. I, I, you're worried for nothing. And again, you'd slowly like introduce him to the house anyway. Like we already, you can't just like, hey, here's the fucking house. Go, go where you want. <laughs> go ahead and you'd start him in a room. You'd start him on a floor. You'd go like that. But anyway, yeah, you'd be fine. Hey, it looks like you're getting a cat now. It's not worth it. There'd be no difference with a dog. A yeah, dog would just fucking hang either. out and jump in too. <laughs> well, a dog probably would be able to fit through the railing. That too. I True. think you should get a pet. Of if we got like a tiny, like mini poodle. Get a wiener dog but so you can't even take the dog. stairs anyway. <laughs> I, just Poor get guy. a fish. <laughs> just, just get a fish. Fuck it. It won't jump off anything. A we put one up there. Right just there. fucking, <laughs> it jumps out of the tank. <laughs> That's what you get right there. Nice big old fish tank. I want to get an aquarium. But uh, okay, I said camp tank. Can't put it up here. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna green shark. I'm gonna put a Sea World in the backyard. Because <laughs> like, just oh, a I'm normal tank fish. would be like quite a few gallons. It's really fucking heavy on a top floor. If there, also if there's ever like any leakage or flood, and you know that we'd be carrying that bitch, bitch up go here. down yeah, every yeah, single. Yeah, you don't want it up here. Put it in the home well. theater with RGB lighting. <laughs> RGB, well, where's that gonna be? Your fish is just chilling 24 seven. What I wanted to do, I told Annie, I was just like, what would be so cool. Is if we just where the TV is gonna go, make the entire wall just and an aquarium. An aquarium. That would some, be sick. That'd be but the just probably, that'd be the most exp- It'd be more expensive than the fucking fiber. It'd be so extra, yeah. bro. It's like uh, two chains. World's most expensive is shit. I've seen that show. You ever seen that? No. no. Uh, you gotta seen, watch. It's a, a YouTube of, bit. It's a YouTube pass. series. Have you seen, just like try like gold bagels and stuff. And it's like this is great. The gold it's flakes and it's like yeah. uh, I ice cream. Ice cream. Yeah, yeah the most expensive ice cream is like 100k for a scoop or something. I tried like nice. world's most expensivest water. He calls it expensivest. I'm, I'm not. Yeah. Anyway. yeah. Um, <laughs> world's most expensivest. I yeah. look it up. He's never said that word before. <laughs> it's just Drew no, Rob. No, it's like two chains. He's just like high as shit. Just like exploring. Goes and buys the most stuff. expensive pair of shoes. That doesn't surprise me from the man who had the lyrical genius of saying she got a big booty. So <laughs> I got her a big booty. Nice. Two chains. Two chains. Is, is, I got is two goat. chains. So <laughs> they is. call me two chains. Two chains is one of the musical oh, goats, he's a man. Genius. <laughs> A lyrical genius. A lyrical genius. Eminem who? He'll be around for a while. Yeah. I think I we so. are coming up on an hour and a half-ish. I don't remember Wait, when actually? we started. Yeah. Actually. What time is it? It's Nine. 9.05. But I don't remember exactly Nine. when we started. We started at like 7.40. Give it like 10.15. Maybe. <laughs> I, I can't remember because we were sitting down and then Rob went to go pee. Yeah, last Andrew phone check pee. was like 7.40-ish. But yeah, you're right then. The ladies know, had to go to the washroom. I don't my phone. All right, last thing. Uh... <laughs> Rob has decided. <laughs> I'm trying to think. But anyways, now that things are Last opening thing. up, like, what are what, are you guys gonna go do anything different? Like, I think I'm gonna hit up a restaurant. I'll make I don't a, know what. I'll, I'll, I'll hit up a restaurant like here and there, only for patio. The fuck it. No, all you can eat. No, I don't think you can. Op- they can open Korean barbecue yet. Nope. No, I'm Definitely so I, the Korean barbecue. I think you should be able to. Like, they bring you everything. But like, the whole point is you're touching everything possible. You're also like sharing. You haven't seen me at a dime. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, <laughs> I I may go like I've I've been for a patio drink once. Mm-hmm. Um, Drew, yeah, you're was, the one who's most adverse to COVID out of all of us, and I you're know. the one out here going to patios. I know I got roped into it, and then um, but it it wasn't bad. All the all the servers had masks and stuff. Um, it makes it so were much they hot? better. Well, I yeah, mean, the, they were the masks are really warm. And they they stop you from breathing. Mm-hmm. No, it was truly as Joe. So. <laughs> <laughs> we're all just suffocating in a box. But it was it was okay. The, I've been I've been past restaurants recently though, and they've just been packed the on the bumping, patio. Yeah, like, yeah it the, doesn't look like they're social distancing, so it, oh, I'm no. a little turned off from. Even it. the ones on your street when I was driving past the other day, that one mm-hmm. little like balcony on the not balcony, it's like right on the sidewalk. I know what you mean? Yeah, it's bumping. But it was packed because there's like, like four picnic tables and there's four small metal tables yeah and they're full every day I it's all old sh- people too <laughs> when i went to shoeless there was plenty of space in between but the ones i've seen recently just 
Mm -hmm. I'm, but I'm now curious, they're opening up insides. I'm curious if restaurants are going to make up for like all the money they lost just no. because of like the huge so, amount of people going. So here's the thing: one. like most of the restaurants, capacity. most of the restaurants won't even be able to like make a profit even when they open because I think they can Some only open close to for like, good, aren't they? Well, yeah, most of uptown, but that, they can only open to like 50 percent capacity. Uh, so you can't even get the a right amount of people in to make a profit. And those are restaurants that are going to be full on a normal Friday night anyway. So now they're like full, 50, but 50%. Percent full. Yeah. I, mean, I think this might be a little more social. Like last night I went to go see some blades I hadn't seen in a while. If we were all outside in the guy's back patio. Yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> I, I trust. I, I, I kept my distance. From, like I didn't like touch anyone. I was like, <laughs> true. Fuck. <laughs> I just getting put on a nice. Halloween costume over there. Nice. <laughs> but, but yeah. But like, uh, yeah, as far as like public spaces go, I've been to the grocery store like twice since it started. Mm -hmm. I went to the mall on Saturday for the first time since this started. I'm kind of like, I'm just worried that if I don't go out now, I'm going to trap myself in my own head and never want to leave my house again. You know what I mean? The only mm -hmm. times I've went places, I've like just been super masked. Like, yeah, don't touch I'm, anything. Dude, everyone probably Full PPE. Yeah. Brings the hazmat Honestly, suit. Everyone probably thinks I'm running down fucking. aisles like this with my hands <laughs> wiping against Pulling the walls. Christian. Yeah. Go, go, uh, rub people and go so right in their face. <laughs> no. Man, I, that, uh, that thing you sent today of that guy, oh, yeah. that guy. How can she slap? It was like a guy just, it, it said it was spitting on oranges, but he wasn't even spitting at like a customer or yeah, employee. He literally turns and spits. And the, 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 whoever, the manager, whoever comes over and just like <laughs> smacks the dude. Like slaps him and like pushes him to the ground. But and like, then the oranges like fall on him. But the, exactly. Like, like, what would you he, spit like, on someone? Though? smacks what? the dude and he hits the, the table on the ground. And then like five oranges roll off the shelf and land on him. <laughs> is that in the group chat? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, it is. yeah okay. like, I was like, this is Shane at work. <laughs> so when I was driving, yeah. hot take, an open-handed slap. <laughs> oh. It probably hurts more than a punch, dude. But like, oh, yeah. it's enough impact. The thing is, if you watch the guy too he runs in so he's got momentum and he kind of gives it a little leap and he it's like, like it's it almost like, like a spike it looks like the scene from 300 where they're like running <laughs> with a sword yeah but he just full arm like he gets like the full fucking uh palm. the palm like is there a wrist. video of that with the sound because that sound like i, I don't think so. i can hear it in my head yeah. do you know what i mean i'm, like, I'm sure if you went to the rather thread there'd probably be somewhere where it'd be like, oh, oh we have the sound it's really it's good just but you're it's right like, the guy's it's funny because he hits the ground he's like laying there it's like some of a fucking tv show yeah like i got his fucking shit kicked in with one slap though man that's a demoralizing <laughs> he was a pretty small oh, yeah. guy compared to the guy yeah, who was the, the dude manager was, like, was bigger a and foot taller the dude and who he spit and as he's mid turn to walk this way, he just gets domed. <laughs> so, like, he did so, not know it was nowhere. coming. Dude, we put you so, man. Why the fuck are you spitting in a public I don't, location? He, he deserved people it. People are nuts, man. Yeah. A lot of people are, are doing it as, like, a way of being like, like trust it's not real i'm gonna spit on you you're not gonna get covid and then you'll see it's not real like, i think that's their mentality COVID. yeah i always just bring it back to that nba player who was like yeah this is all the first one to touch yeah. everything and literally like nine of the 13 people in that room all get covid did like he them. get like kicked out of the nba no, or no, no, no. he single-handedly stopped the season well he was gonna stop it was it gonna stop anyway but, but like here's he the was thing. the instigator yeah here's the thing it was all gonna happen anyway it just it he was joking around and it looks real bad because two days later he had covid and then his whole team had COVID, and then all the media people had COVID, and yeah. he fucked everyone over. The, and then the, they started it. Like, there's a good it. chance that it didn't stem from him touching the Correct. Stuff yeah. Too. Well, like just uh, the visual of it. Like you're rubbing up against each other, sweaty in basketball. Correct. And it could have been someone from the media giving. It's just again, the visual was really bad, and it just so happened everybody two days later. It was like the COVID. like I remember watching that video of him because the someone posted a video before I saw COVID laughed. started. Yeah, yeah, I was I like, I was like, haha, they like. Wouldn't it be funny if this guy had COVID? Two yeah. days later, dude, everyone in that room, <laughs> <laughs> this dude, his name's Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert has COVID. Yeah. And like, and then like Dobbin Mitchell, like guys who are like top 20 players in the NBA are just Got all it. of a sudden. That not video playing. when it first came out on Reddit too, where they were all like, I don't care if it's just a joke, like you shouldn't be doing that. And then yeah. they were just like, oh, we were so right. Good yeah. job, Reddit. <laughs> and again, to be fair, <laughs> they're right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if the risk is there, at the time it, it was like pretty. Like, See, I think it's funny, but again, yeah. you're right. Like the, with the seriousness, like you you shouldn't have done it. It's not funny because yeah. mm -hmm. like he, people are gonna be watching this. You don't want to. It's just not. That, it's not like, a good look. That solidified it for me, but also when Tom Hanks said he had it, I was like, Tom it's fucking real. Hanks. <laughs> God he damn, won't lie. Bro. Everyone Up until in America then, is like, Rob was a denier. Mine was Idris Elba. I'm like, oh, not yeah, Idris. Yeah, yeah. 
No. One of the most chiseled dudes I've ever seen in my yeah. life. Austin like, Matthews. I got it. I honestly yeah, didn't even know it. I got it. Dude, some guy was like, pranking. He's like, dude, Austin Matthews has COVID. I'm like, ah, oh, you're full of shit. And then a Two week days later, <laughs> he's got it. I'm like, dude, you're an asshole. He you're was the right. one who gave it. He actually went to his house yeah. and like licked his envelope or whatever. It. Yeah, put planted it, it. And he's like, ha, he has it. And like, no, he doesn't, dude. Just wait. <laughs> I'm just glad Freddie got out of there. Yeah. Freddie's probably been chilling in fucking, where's he from? Finland? Uh, I think he's in the state somewhere right now, though. Yeah, he's in the state. Oh, wasn't somewhere. he with Matthews? He well, was. He's in then, Toronto now. Uh, I'm pretty yeah. sure. I'm pretty sure they're all. These in are Toronto. hockey players we're talking about. <laughs> but, Actually, I, I'm thinking back on your question about like what's going to change mm -hmm. with like Phase Three coming out and stuff. Well, and, we know there's a list. <laughs> and um, no, like I mean, like for like what I'm going to do any different. Yeah. And I, I, Priest called me out today on it. Cause I was like, Good just, priest. I was giving, oh, man. I was giving him a ship being like, us is so fucking awful. Like record cases every day. Like they're so stupid. And then he's like, yeah, it's not like, or it's a good thing. You're not, you know, meeting any people and keeping your social distance. I'm like, I got podcast recording tonight. Yeah. <laughs> like, but here's here's the thing. The U S like, this is somewhat okay because this is for we've people. quarantined and everything. The U.S. And we don't just, have that big of a social. No, the, I see you the guys. US I see just Amanda. Yeah. that they're us. They think that they've beat it like we did, so they're doing this same thing, except it's in and, their peak. And again, I will preach this to the day with like we did a lot better than I ever thought we would in a, a case yeah, we, like this. We didn't, we didn't see each, see each other, other for, for three or like, four months. I, I worked for like two and a half. I, I literally didn't leave my house for two months. I didn't see anyone. No, I'm yeah. pretty sure. I, I think it was four months almost. Like it was the last podcast. I think yeah. that was the last time we hung out. And then oh, I guess we yeah. moved in. We moved in. So but that still, was but that like, was, yeah, again, so three and, months almost. And yeah. we, we cut it by a week because yeah. we, we shouldn't have done, but like we were all ready to go. And um, we'd already like, we were, we're already together because of the move in. There's like, I trust, I trust you guys. Right. Cause I figured like you guys all have other shit to worry Man, about. Before all that move into him. Cause I, I, I met, I went for to my families for the first time in three months as well. Like two days before you moved in. So the two weeks before, at work like my hands were drying out the shit because i yeah. washed them every 10 minutes i had yeah. the mask like strapped to my face yeah. and then as soon as <laughs> i had tape, finished the move in and finished like seeing my parents i just went back to like i still wash my hands like every time i come in and out of the department hmm. but like no mask i wasn't i was just more relaxed yeah. See, and like, but, like going into that though i'm like i can't fuck this up for you <laughs> got yeah. too much on the line and i was working from home i have my own office now i wear a mask anytime i go out gloves like i sanitize going in and out of my office yeah. whenever i even have like a remotely close interaction with a client i like sanitize and i still remember like i started my new job the very the same day that quarantine started i went into the office and I remember everyone was saying like oh blah 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 like you're probably, you'll, you'll probably be here tomorrow just in case you might as well take your shit home <laughs> the, the next morning it's like yeah, you're, you're bringing him home until Labor Day. I'm like, this is fucking sick. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, it's like, thank... Could you imagine, though, if that, like, say, it didn't start... Or it started, like, two weeks earlier? Yeah. You probably you, wouldn't you have been tired, yeah. Like, I, I, got, I got lucky. Like, I... I whine about my job sometimes, but it's not... Kills nine to five. It pays the bills. But again, I love like hearing you, Rob complain about the job, because he'll be like, dude, like... The Dude, worst fucking day ever of work, and then the next minute, he'll be like, yeah, I watched YouTube for, like, eight hours at work today. Dude, you, <laughs> like, you've convinced your chat that I... Dude, like zero all day. <laughs> because you literally messaged me being like, it hey, depends. man, I'll jump in for Siege today. I'm it like, I played once on working. my birthday. <laughs> it depends. So some days you're like, I, you're just like sitting outside the whole day. Yeah, some days. But then there's like those days where you send us, and I think you just specifically send us once a week where it's like, I think you just schedule like, all your meetings on one day. No, I have one day a week <laughs> like, where. This is the worst. Why yeah. does this I have, happen? Like, I have like five <laughs> clients who for some reason just fucking love Wednesdays. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm free every other day of the week, just so you guys know. Oh, Wednesdays works best for us. Perfect. Like 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. I don't Wait. even have time to take a shit. You, you wouldn't prefer that? I'd much rather prefer like one big day of work yeah. and then six days off. This, this guy snaps us or sends us a picture every beat, like, yo, look at my schedule day, guys. And then the next like, <laughs> well, three like, days, it's just like Rob sitting on his, like, his chair outside. I'm with, reading. Yeah. But there's still stuff to do on the Correct. Yeah. Days. It's just like. It's hey, just, well, from the meetings, you guys. Personally, stuff like, then. I'm the kind of person where, like, in a work day, I need someone to kind of anchor me to my desk. You know what I mean? Like, if, mm -hmm. if I don't have a call, I'm still going to work, but, like, I'm not going to be as inclined to, like, know the grindstone if I don't have a call as in like between. A generic guess, how much time do you think you actually spend working in a week? 37 and a half hours, don't say anything different. Uh, like, it's easier for me to go per day. So let's say I work, in, I work nine to five, but is that eight hours? Let's yeah. say I probably, Seven and a half but like of those eight hours, probably. how much are you like actually doing okay. something? So for I'll, work? I'll, I'm I'll dry it into tears. So <laughs> two hours, so two hours a day, okay. probably like hard ass working, like doing shit for clients, following up, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Another three or four hours is kind of like, I'm still at my desk working, 
but I'm like, I got a second tab open or mm-hmm. like this. I'm still doing Porn things. hubs up. You yeah, know. exactly. <laughs> X hamster. And then like, there's an hour a day of where it's just like, I'm sitting on my ass eating food, watching you stream or like watching cod. Mm-hmm. That's about it. Okay. But that's like my hour for lunch. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like if we consider the three hour break, so that's basically like 25 hours a week of like actual work. If you're going to put it that way, then yeah. yeah. That's, that's why you put it. Well, I'm still working. <laughs> yeah, if you're gonna put it that, you, no, you yeah. said you said two hours yeah. of hard work, three hours of like somewhat work, and the rest is just whatever. Yeah. So that's five hours a day for five days a you week. That's twenty five hours. Three to four, you have to average it. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta. Okay, let's say, okay, so let's that's say twenty a forty hour work seven and a half hours. <laughs> say forty hour work, week, forty hour work week. I'm probably putting in like a solid thirty twenty five. <laughs> Shane tries to <laughs> hands him the out. <laughs> He's like, nope. No. Nope. But like some no, but the thing is, my mindset, again, probably just me being yeah, having yeah, personal is, bias. Yeah. I probably yeah. just bad again for you guys. If you guys are all of COVID now, sorry. Yeah, that's what it is. Um <laughs> like there's some days where I'm busting my fucking dick off, bro. True, get it because the microphone. No, no, I'm scared. Scared. no. Not like I don't. I mean got like, the other tab open, <laughs> busting my dick. I don't mean off. that. I mean like I'm like like I'm getting crunched. Like I finish one call and there's, there's someone waiting for me in another call and that's like all day long. Wednesdays, like, we got that. Yeah, yeah. Wednesdays. Or like, even today, it was like from like nine till it's like one thirty. Right? Don't lie to us. It was a grind. <laughs> yeah. Today's Monday, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it was like, like call, 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 and then I have to do like a thousand fucking shits between like. 12 and 1 because everyone's waiting for it because I just had a call with them and I'm, I'm an idiot I'm like yeah I'll give this to you no problem then I realize I have all this other shit to do <laughs> I do that and, then, the, and then they email me like hey uh, no pressure but where's my like shit that you promised me and I'm like fuck <laughs> I have a job to do and then like 1.30 hit today and I was like and he's in my chat <laughs> I was like hey guys and I was just like so bo- like, just so fucking bored man I like, loved I think it was today right where you came in a chat and you're like, hey everyone. I'm like, Rob, I have not looked at your yeah, videos yet. <laughs> He's like, I was literally typing. I was that. typing. I was just saying, <laughs> have you seen it yet? Because I, I, I just want to make sure. Like, I know the audio is good for like <laughs> at least six games. There's a couple games where I like looked down and my mic was too close to my mouth, and I'm like, fuck. I just love looking at the files. Like I normally have all my like files in, in it, so I made a different folder for the podcast. And I made a new file saying, Rob, put your shit in here. <laughs> and I looked at it right now. It was a third folder now. It's just like Rob's games. <laughs> I didn't Rob, do it on purpose. Rob, man, Rob, Rob let's man. Go. And then he labeled all of them, which I was like, oh, I'm actually impressed. I tried to. Like, but then he labeled them incorrect or like not the same. So instead of being like one, two, three, four, oh yeah, it's are... like eight, one, four, seven. <laughs> like some of them he put two spaces, some of them he put one, some were no space. So I tried to put like the preambles order. per game to kind of give you an idea of what to expect. <laughs> There's only one game that's I an just, absolute dud. The rest are going to be fine. I just love this Snapchat of the two folders. Where should I put it, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Makes a third. I didn't even do it on purpose. I didn't even know that. That's amazing. I'm, I'm just, so I'm happy just 3, that you did that. I'm just 3,000 IQ, it. dude. I can't help it anymore. I'm mm-hmm. just too smart for my own good. All right. Oh, man. Any prompts for the questions before we end stream here? What's the uh, first how thing big, you How do? big are all your penises? Oh, Jesus, what's the first thing you guys are going to do when COVID restrictions lift? Yeah, like first place. Like, so uh, for like me, z- zero cases, wait, everything's saying, open back up. Yeah. Like everything is completely gone. Or like, There's no like restrictions. As, so when this thing opens, you're going to go do it right away. Okay. Like for us, it's going to be, well, for me, like, it's going to be Basically, climbing. what are you waiting for the most yeah. to yeah. open? For me, it's going to be climbing. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to climb that this... The, Second day that place opens. I miss climbing, but I will not be. Oh, yeah, that's fine. You weren't gonna come back anyway. We've already gone through this. I will. Do you think, <laughs> Drew? The second day. <laughs> me and Shane were talking about it. Like they're probably gonna do time slots, right? Yeah. Do you think they're gonna limit how many slots you could do in a week to like allow other people maybe, to go? Maybe. Uh, hour time slot. But, like, and you get one per day. One per day. That's what okay. I see. I think they do something like that. And I think it's gonna be like if there's some dudes scheduling like. Yeah. Seven days in a row, like, okay, dude, you got chill a bit. Yeah. The problem yeah. with climbing is, though, like, like weightlifting, you clean the bars. Between yeah, okay, the, so the way... You can't clean so the holes. The way it's worded, like, the, the provincial is worded, like, the government worded it, was, like, gyms, and then in brackets, being, like, um, things that you can clean when you're done. Like, they literally put that into, yeah. like, the legislation, like, we're, we're fucked. Well, chalk mm-hmm. and shit, right? Like how they well, work. Well, chalk is what so it is. They, they can't clean the holds without taking but them out. But how are you going to put your hand in the chalk bucket? They'll just get rid of chalk. Yeah. yeah you, you have to like bring your own, own chalk. But, but, like, then, like, so, but the bigger issue is the holds. Clean. So they can't clean the holds unless they bring it down off the wall. And there's over like probably Sweet. 500 holds. And if they take it off, they have to have their crew go in, they screw it in, it. test everything. Is there some like sort of like sanitizer chalk? How sick would that be? That would be Purell. Just Purell chalk. 
We're, this is how we make our mi- impression. I'm gonna need a hundred thousand or more. <laughs> Yo, there is like liquid chalk. I've yeah. seen that. Yeah, but yeah, that shit yeah, doesn't like sanitize you like... your hands. No, it doesn't. It tastes, smells like shit too. But um, it tastes I'm thinking like so. <laughs> I was looking at the list. Casinos aren't on that. Casinos aren't on like Dang, the tier, it. like three thing. They're after technically. Yeah. When casinos open, you better open climbing. I see no reason. The only thing I could say with casinos is that they would be able to be like, okay, this person, like they'd have to have people like probably at each row. And as soon as someone gets off a machine, you're like, okay, this one's closed off, sanitize it, go back. If that's the case, about if casinos. that's the case, they could have people in climbing. When I'm, I climb up, I come down, they climb up, clean everything, they climb down. They can't. But yes, you, they could. You know, you know, with casinos, there's just the one person has their wheelchair and they have their slot machine and they don't move all day. The thing is, is they're that's gonna to soak. Clean. They're gonna soak right into the machine. You can't <laughs> clean that out. You gotta. Yeah. Well, that's their machine. They they just take it home with them. <laughs> it's like they're going from like dust to dawn on that machine. Yeah, no, they're you're going right. To bed, you're right. And they're coming back to the same machine. Again, if they're they can like, open a casino, I feel like they can. Like, casinos are so sketchy. In the- I'd say that's like when they probably will, but. I'd still say a casino would be way easier to clean than... Yeah, in a sense, yeah. Again, people can climb V10s. That guy can climb up with one hand and clean on the way up. Plus, (laughs) casinos are pumping oxygen. You know, they're not going to have COVID issues because they're just going to get all that oxygen. In other words, they're pumping money. Uh, (laughs) They're going to open. There's no holding them back. It's good. Anyways, we shall see. Definitely climbing for me. Wait, I'm Rob, interested. anything that yeah, you're waiting for? What are you going to do, I'm just, I'm just missing the fucking gym so bad. Heavy, wait, I don't know. I'm, I'm... Nothing, eh? Well, fuck. Probably gym and no, I... No, have... no, I really want to go climbing. I just... I think they're going to open it too early. Oh, oh. Can I throw one thing in before yeah. we end? Okay, so... No. Doggo <laughs> has... Fuck that did we Did we talk about this last week? <laughs> what? I don't think so. Maybe. Um. So, he is going to school. Mm-hmm. Dude, I remember yeah, we had a conversation the other day. Did we? Yeah. Okay. Or at least we talked. I don't know if we talked. Give me the brief. Not, Give me the brief. I haven't heard this. So you know how he's blind in one eye? Yeah. It's because of an autoimmune disorder we that he had. We were in the pool and we okay. talked about it. Oh yeah. So he has an autoimmune disorder, mm-hmm. and you, Doggo. that means he's susceptible. Just like we don't know for sure if anything would happen, but like he's more likely to be at risk for COVID. Mm-hmm. But he is going to university. He's going to be staying in a dorm with a roommate, and a dorm full of hundreds of other people, and he's going to in-person classes. Nice. For arts, where they're going to be touching and using the same stuff as other people. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I told him, I was like, you're a fucking idiot. Take a year off or a semester off and just like, yeah, but you know, relax. And he's just like, oh, but like my parents are going to make me. I was like, <laughs> if your parents, like if you could go up to your parents and be like, I have an autoimmune thing. This could affect me. And they're like, you're going anyways. So like, to anyone listening to this bad. right now, wondering why the States has 60,000 cases a day right now. There you go. And the thing, I all agree, you need to know. I agree with what you said too, because you were like, just stream. Like you have a game that you'll actually like now. Take a year off or that half was, a year off. That was another thing I was thinking too. If they can open schools, because there's a lot of talk of even here them opening schools. That's the plan. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't. Submit there it is off. no way in fucking hell you can't open my climbing gym. <laughs> <laughs> there's no way. Shane's gonna be that person at the town hall, being like. Where's my climbing gym? With my gym? side. With my side. Out front of the school. They're like, what are you boycotting? My climbing gym's not open. <laughs> Fuck this little Timmy kid. He yeah. doesn't need school. Jeez. All right. Anyway. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Let us know what you're excited for to open, and uh, we'll see you, see you next, next week. week. Bye. I'm not saying bye this week. Fuck them. <laughs>